This video is brought to you by True Tales of Buried Treasure, the largest collection of old treasure magazines in the West. On our website, you can search for individual treasure stories by region or buy our original magazines themselves. To pay us a visit, please click on the link in the description. Enjoy. Story number one, Buried Treasure at Aravaca. Hidden deep within the ancient Spanish town of Aravaca, nestled amidst the lands of southern Pima County, Arizona, lies a magnificent cache of gold and silver extracted from the bountiful mines that adorned the area. In the early days of Arizona's rich history, when the land was under the dominion of Spain, a humble community by the name of Aravaca was birthed by devoted missionaries. Let us delve into its early chronicles, where the Padres toiled within the mines surrounding Aravaca, stockpiling their precious metals within the hallowed grounds of the historic village. Throughout its Spanish era, this humble adobe settlement faced countless trials, besieged by relentless Indian conflicts. The Apache tribes launched countless raids upon the village, causing great strife. And it was during one such relentless assault that the Padres, aided by their loyal slaves, secreted a copious amount of gold ingots and silver bullion within the recesses of an ancient adobe dwelling. The ferocity of this particular Apache onslaught surpassed all previous encounters, driving the surviving inhabitants into the refuge of Mexico. The surviving Padres, fearing for their lives, retreated to the sanctuary of Mexico City, never returning to reclaim their hidden treasure amidst the ruins of the adobe structures. Undoubtedly, this treasure still slumbers within its enigmatic sanctuary. Aravaca rests northwest of Nogales, nestled on the fringes of the Coronado National Forest, a mere stone's throw away from the illustrious Treasure Rockhound Ranch. Tom Penfield, esteemed treasure seeker, reveals yet another fabled treasure worth a staggering $5 million, awaiting discovery in the vicinity. For further elucidation, consult A Guide to Treasure in Arizona, published by Carter Latham Publications. Thus, the intrepid treasure hunters are bestowed with two lost riches to pursue within Aravaca, not forgetting the mines that the Padres diligently worked to amass their priceless golden bounty. Surely these mines lie in close proximity, beckoning to be discovered. Story number two, Buried Kentucky Treasure. In the enchanting land of Northeast Davies County, Kentucky, a tale of hidden fortunes and lost legacies unfolds. Amos Dadisman, a venerable resident of the region, lived a life tinged with mystery and a touch of magic. As a farmer and a preacher, his days were filled with toil and devotion. But fear of bank failures has caused many people to use the earth as their personal depository. Legend has it that after losing a considerable sum of money to a devastating bank collapse, Amos vowed never to trust financial institutions again. With a heart burdened by mistrust, he concealing his wealth within the nooks and crannies of his humble abode or burying it deep beneath the soil, he safeguarded his treasures from the whims of fate. In April of 1910, the veil of mortality descended upon Amos Dadisman, leaving behind a trail of unanswered questions and a hidden bounty waiting to be discovered. His beloved wife had preceded him in death just a month prior, leaving him with a heavy heart and a secret untold. His daughter, residing in the enchanting city of Evansville, Indiana, and his sister, who dwelled in the mystical Mount Zion, were unaware of the whereabouts of his buried wealth. Rumors swirled amidst the whispers of the townsfolk, hinting at the existence of Amos Dadisman's concealed fortune. Though not a single penny had been unearthed, the allure of a forgotten treasure beckoned to those with a keen eye and a modern treasure hunter's tool, a trusty metal detector. Amidst the rolling hills and verdant pastures of Davius County, a yearning for adventure and the prospect of unearthing Amos Dadisman's elusive wealth captivated the imaginations of the curious. Who knew what wonders lay hidden beneath the soil, waiting to be discovered by those bold enough to seek them? In a world where magic and mystery intertwine, the legacy of Amos Dadisman lives on, as does the tantalizing promise of a forgotten fortune awaiting its rightful heir. With every beep of the metal detector, the echoes of a bygone era resonate, calling forth intrepid souls to embark on a quest for untold riches and the unraveling of a captivating tale lost to time.
Story number three, Crockett's Gold. Once upon a time, the tale of Archie Crockett's gold led us to the enchanting county of Obion, nestled in the heart of Tennessee. In those days, Crockett and his family resided in a grand abode situated north of Troy on the old Hickman Highway, about 300 feet south, Troy Community Center. Crockett had amassed a vast fortune from his cotton gin, which was located nearby in Troy. His family was esteemed and esteemed throughout the region, and he had converted most of his earnings from the gin into the most precious of metals, gold coins. These coins were his buried treasure, and it was a common sight for his wife to observe Archie slipping out in the dead of night with a jar or two of gold coins. He was never away for more than 10 minutes, and she frequently pestered him about the treasure's whereabouts, but he never divulged the secret. Like many Tennesseans, Crockett held a great passion for horses and loved nothing more than galloping at breakneck speed across his neighboring pasture. However, on August 2nd, 1901, disaster struck. He was riding at full tilt when his mount stumbled, leaving Crockett with grave injuries. He was carried back to the house where it was discovered he could neither speak nor move. Sensing the fragility of his future, his wife implored him to reveal the treasure's hiding place. Crockett's only response was to shift his gaze towards the horse pasture, which lay some 350 feet west of the house. Later that fateful night, Crockett took his secret with him as he passed away. The pasture still remains in use and is owned by the esteemed Mr. J.F. Moss. The region is free of the clutter of junk metal and there are no high weeds to make searching difficult. Therefore, one could pay a visit to Moss and strike a deal for a search. Who knows, if one were to come across Crockett's gold, it could prove to be an extremely profitable venture indeed. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to read the original article or purchase the magazine from which it was taken, please check out our website, truetalesofburiedtreasure.com.